And like always, you've completed your mission. Like always? Those words don't come from me. You must know what they say about you here. No, I don't know. Enlighten me. Well, you have kind of a reputation. It's actually rather flattering. What exactly do they say? Oh, you want to know? I didn't think... Simple curiosity, nothing more. Everybody kept saying that Galeb Bazori has been in tough spots before, and that you come through them unscathed. They were right. Don't listen to gossip. Forge your own opinions. Don't worry about it. It's not a natural thing here. It takes some experience. Mens et manus. Mind and hand. That's the MIT motto. One of my teachers used to say that the only way to really learn something is by doing it. You have a lot in common with him. I'm unsure of how I'm supposed to interpret that. It's a compliment. You didn't tell me what was in those files you gave the prince. I don't see how that's any of your business. To make up your own mind about something, the best way is to go to the source. And apparently, Jason Moore is well informed. I see. You'll have to be patient, Fang. Do you... Do you think your success on the mission could play to our advantage? I mean, for... The Prince will decide your fate when the time comes. Being useful to her can't hurt. How do you feel about it? Honestly? I just want to get it over with. Like when you're going into finals? Even if there's no going back? It's a little late for that, isn't it? It is. Your child, Beryl Underwood, did he have any second thoughts? I don't want to discuss it. He's your only child, so I wondered how it went. Well, could you enlighten me? Beryl is very different from you. He always has been. I was blind. It won't happen again. Beryl would have begged me to get what he wanted. Your patience reassures me. I'm making the right choice with you. You seem to really have a problem with him. Yes, and that's why you must stay away from him. This separation between you, what caused it? Don't dig too far into it. You know this is something I don't discuss. That's too bad. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fang, I'm going to have a word with him. Oh? To Beryl? Why? I trust you, but I don't trust him. I asked you not to go near him. Apparently, I didn't make myself clear enough. I thought the prince was gonna call for you any minute now. I'm sure I'll have enough time to clear the air with him first, once and for all. While you're waiting, stay put. As you wish. Just one more, and then you can go rest. All right. Thanks, Ms. Ortiz. It's quiet here. A message from Caius. Need you downstairs. Urgent issue. Bad timing. I'm going to have to choose. Help Caius or speak with Beryl.
we're waiting for Mr. Leto's signal. Until then, if you have any questions... I want to report on his activities no pronto. I don't like the sound of that at all. You wanted to see me? Happy to see you, Caleb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Some things come up. On the night of the attack, someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient. Is that a problem? Could be a major one. Not a lot of people can do that, you know. You wouldn't be trying to cover up a mistake, would you? What? Are you crazy? Why would I tell you about it if I was involved in it? Maybe you're afraid that we'll find out on our own. If I wanted to do that, you'd have no way of knowing it. Is that supposed to reassure me? It's supposed to prove my sincerity. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Jara Drory. What you're telling me is extremely serious. I hope you have proof. If I did, do you think I'd be asking for your help? But I wouldn't accuse her unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? Maybe. But maybe she made a mistake. There's something else. You brought more back here. We learned a lot from him. Like what? Did you know he'd been in touch with Jara about his family's disappearance? What's strange about having contacted her? Well, it sure didn't seem like she was in a hurry to do anything about it. That's all. I might be reading too much into this, Caleb, but I'd say that under normal circumstances, if the entire family of the guy who handles your money goes missing, it warrants more than a, I look into it. According to our intel, Jara may have been captured. <laughs> she was caught in her own trap. Anyways, there's a lot of fishy stuff going on here. And the least we can do is try to understand how it all fits together. In my place, under the current circumstances, I can't really go poking my nose in her business. And I can. Nobody will bother you. I'm not asking for much. Just take a look in Jara's room to see if you can find anything that ties her to any of this. And if you could do it quickly. Why? because I'm about to erase a ton of data. It's the Code Red protocol. And since Jara vanished, the Prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. You in? I could maybe go and take a look around. Great. I found a key to her room. Take it. Thanks. It's our last chance to recover the data from Jara Drury's computer before everything disappears for good. Just insert this thumb drive and it will download everything I need. If she betrayed us, I'll know. Fine. I'll go see what I can find. Thanks. One last thing. Uh-huh. If you could keep this just between you and me. Fine. And don't come back to see me here. It's supposed to be sealed. It'll look suspicious. I'll send in an engineer after you. Give him the drive when you're done, but don't tell him anything. We have to keep this between us. As you wish.
we're still waiting on the list of everything you want to keep. You'll excuse me if I have more pressing matters to attend to first. Of course, but Miss Bosch... Caius isn't the only one who's curious about Jara. I know you're there. Show yourself. Azori, Dench. What are you doing here? You'd disappeared. A slight setback. But it's been sorted out. It's been years. We thought we'd never see you here in Boston again. Or anywhere, for that matter. Some warlocks thought they could hold me prisoner. Keeping me tied down has never been an easy task. You stirring up trouble as usual? No. How long has it been since we last met? I was hunting one of the clanless. That's right. The young Lisa Blake. But I got there first. She had crucial information that could have saved several of our informants. Nothing but kind. Precious assets. Leaving her to you could have cost much more. That's possible. There's no going back. That's what happens when you decapitate someone. I hope you don't hold it against me. There's no point dwelling on the past. Does that bother you? Would you rather talk about the future? From what I've gleaned, the situation is far from ideal. What with the SI breathing down your necks? Aren't we well informed? It's all anyone here is talking about. You've reached the brink, and you cower on the edge like so many cattle. And I dare say you'd be going about things differently if you were in charge. If I were you, there are a lot of things I'd do differently. Tell me what you're doing here. You have no power over me. This court is pitiful. A bunch of children who can't see past their noses. A storm is coming, and you don't deserve to survive it. Do you think you're so different? You won't make it out alive either. What are you talking about? You must feel it too. As if your entire body was pulling you towards another place. I... I thought the pulling was the lingering effects of the Tremere. It's not going to get any easier. The eldest among us end up departing. Personally, I'm not going anywhere until my job is done. You can sleep easy. This time I'm not here to interfere with your plans. Nor with those of your prince. Farewell. Kurt Dench. I never thought I'd see him again. If he was looking for something here, then maybe Caius was right. Jara Drory was hiding something from us. That should take less than a minute. Jara has always been wary of new technology.
It appears that this place was hidden with an illusion. It's not like Jara to let that kind of thing wear off. Jara always was old-fashioned. Whatever's in this box must be important. Jara was conducting her own investigation. There is no way Kaius would be expecting that. It appears Kaius was wrong. He and Jara may have been looking for the same individual. I hope Caius will be able to use what's on this thumb drive. I think that's everything. Now it's Caius' turn. Hello, Mr. Missouri. Has anyone left this room recently? Nobody's gone through that door except you. Mr. Leto asked me to wait until you were done. He also told me you'd have something for me. Here it is. Give it to him, and him alone. And don't ask any questions. I get it. Are you done here? You may proceed. Thanks. <sighs> I hope Caius knows what he's doing. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. There's no point in hanging around here bothering me. It's gonna take me a while. Very well, Mr. Sheridan. Please excuse me. Mr. Bazori? Fang, did you see her leave? No. Uh, sorry, I, I had to step out for a few minutes. When I got back, she was gone. I asked her to wait for me.
prince is ready to see you now. In just a second, I'll be right back. The prince is ready to see you now. Great. Galeb. My prince. We were expecting you. I need to inform you about a rather surprising incident. Do speak. Kurt Dench was here. Dench? He's still here? He left. He didn't seem to appreciate the fact that I found him here. It was a mistake to let him leave. The last thing we need is a psychopath poking around in our affairs. Especially now. Delson, send someone to make sure Dench is gone. With discretion. Consider it done. Do you have any idea what he was doing? I found him in Jara Drory's apartments. He might have been looking for information. No, he left quickly, and he didn't seem to have found what he was looking for. It was as if he was looking for someone. Who? Jara, almost certainly. But I don't know why. Well, that's something, at least. However, this matter is no longer your concern. How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. I thought about what happened yesterday. Whoever went after Moore was clearly trying to ruin us. We managed to avoid disaster thanks to you. Thank you. Unfortunately, Moore won't be of much use to us. We're going to get rid of him. He's already lost a lot in this affair. Perhaps we could find another use for him. No, he's been compromised. I won't change my mind. You're going soft, Galen. But it's not more I'm worried about. I understand. Only the Hartford Chantry was aware of our relationship with him. And it's clear the attack didn't come from them. Then who? I have suspected as much for a while now. You must feel it too. Someone in the Camarilla is working against us. A traitor. It appears so. Who would dare to do that? You must have some thoughts about it. Do you have a name? I'd like to be able to tell you more, but unfortunately I don't. I'm going to find the culprit. It's my top priority. What makes you think there's a traitor? More. The party. The SI. They knew what they were going to find. Dana Lahane was sent to clean up by someone. All roads lead to one conclusion. Hmm. It is certainly disturbing. I admire your calm. I tend to qualify it as a disaster. I understand. But we'll make it through this. My faithful servant, with you by my side, we at least stand a chance. I wouldn't expect anything less of you, Galeb. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. What did you think about Richard Dunham's file? Money that should be going to me seems to go missing whenever he touches it. Richard is far too important to me. I can't afford to upset him now. But if his research doesn't pay off soon, I won't hesitate to show him my disappointment. Did you read John Drory's file? I wish I'd never seen it. There's too much I despise in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the Primogen's finances. Or this, Cotopodis. What on earth is it? I've got no idea. It doesn't add up. It seemed important to her. But she's not here to shed any light on it. 
I'm listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy, but it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. Yes, of course. An abandoned facility just off the coast. An old fort. It's the ideal place for a secret base. And certainly much more. Who knows what they're up to out there? <sighs> How is it you didn't notice a thing? They have abundant resources, and we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. <sighs> Sending me there. That seems to be a rather bold choice. I don't see anyone better for the job. Infiltration isn't really my specialty. You'll be dealing with Kine. You'll be a fox in a hen house. I'm not worried about you. And Delson knows how to get you in. Oh, that changes everything. They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, They've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. I need to know the details. Let us worry about getting you into the warehouse. We've made all the preparations. You won't have to worry about a thing until you get to Long Island. We know where they are. Why go through their warehouse? Charging into Long Island blind would be far too risky. And with a traitor in our midst, I'd rather keep this to a small circle of trusted people, to avoid any other unpleasant surprises. And after that? Once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all. What do we know about this Stanford? Not much. They're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican, and he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him, and that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine, but it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. I don't wish to be the bearer of ill tidings, but what if I fail? Do you have a backup plan? Galeb, you won't fail. You're our only hope. We place all our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Vizori. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly, and don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right. 
I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested. That Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. But you're not making it easy for me. Kurt Dench. Galeb just told me he saw him skulking about the premises. Who? The Nosferatu you freed last night. He's a former spy, British, an ancient foe. Your incompetence has once again muddied our waters, as if annihilating the Chantry wasn't already enough. I know. I'm sorry. Your excuses hold little value. They won't bring Deneb Osborne back. How could you have been so careless? Freeing Dench from his cell just like that, without giving it a second thought. I didn't know who that guy was. I had no way of knowing that When he... the outcome is uncertain, do nothing. Ugh, that's enough brooding. That's not why I brought you here. I have a new favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice, Delson. We need to blind them from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You're in no position to negotiate, not after the Hartford fiasco. You should be grateful you're getting a second chance to prove your worth. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the council, M.M. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right? How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across. All right. What then? Kai has wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, it'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. Allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. 
I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Send someone else to negotiate. A real emissary. No one else knows the Anarchs as well as you do. They go to your clubs, don't they? They know who you are. They know they can trust you. I barely know them. I see a couple of them once in a while, but that's it. We're not exactly friends. You're still in the best position to negotiate with them. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with the idea of sending them to be slaughtered. It's despicable. It's just politics. And it's probably your only chance to come back in one piece. What if I refuse? I won't let you. Your conscience is of no concern to me. The only thing that matters is our survival. And too bad if it keeps you up at night. The true face of the Camarilla. Right then. Let's say I agree. You don't have a choice. But I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. They're Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Ma'am, there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. No worries. I heard your little adventure with our guests didn't go so well. News sure travels fast. I fucked up, that's all there is to it. Oh, I know that face. You're upset. Hazel tore you a new one, didn't she? Yeah. Can we talk about something else, please? I was just about to go grab a bite. Join me? Is that a question or an order? Let's say it's a strong recommendation. One you can't really refuse. Hmm. That's what it sounded like. Please, lead the way. Very well. Is there something in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Can't I simply offer you a drink without you reading something into it? No. All right, fine. 
Your new mission has been giving me pause to think. I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me, is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Fine. I'll just make your life miserable until you spill the beans. Seriously? You know how stubborn I can be when I want something. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well, let's move on. I wanted to ask you about something a little weird, if you've got a couple minutes. I'm all ears. Is something wrong? Well, it's just... Mm, when I went to visit the Tremere, I saw things that were kind of like memories. What? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It was like I traveled back in time. I got to watch our breakup all over again. Ah, right. Did you see anything else? I saw the night I was attacked. The blood bond. I heard their voices again. Their laughter. Ma'am. I'm fine. I know at least one of them paid for what they did to me. Yeah. I saw my trial for destroying Pro Bono. You warned me about King, but I wouldn't listen. And you paid the price for my mistake. I know. It's all right, ma'am. It's all in the past. No, that's not true. You still have that goddamn mark on your neck. I'm so... Sorry. I never meant for you to pay for my mistakes. You didn't deserve that. I... Thank you. It means a lot to me. But you're not the one who branded me. King did that. I know. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have him here right now so I can make him pay. I can imagine. But don't worry about it. Someone will eventually pay him in kind. I hope so. I saw my embrace. Oh, really? Yeah, it was weird. We were so happy back then. I was, at least. So was I. <sighs> yeah. Remember the night we learned about France's surrender? In 1940. Vaguely. Why? I heard his speech on the radio. We were in Bordeaux. Wow. You sure have a knack for remembering the happier memories. I didn't get to decide. They were there. That's all. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how traumatizing it must have been. It's never good to go stirring up the past. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks for sharing with me. The reports from Richard and Laisha are truly frightening. I never thought I'd see a day like this. Predators never see themselves as prey. We're going to have to be extremely cautious if we want to survive. 
Do you have any plans? No. I'm waiting for Hazel's orders. We're dependent on her now more than ever. I can't imagine you waiting for the prince to do something. But here I am, doing just that. No, you've always got a plan B. You're not telling me everything. I... fine. You win. I can't talk about it here, but yes, I've got our backs covered. Our backs? You're my blood, Mem. But enough about that. Hazel seems to have a few cards up her sleeve. Let's put our faith in that for now. You sure seem ticked at the prince. We've got different political views, that's all. It's rather healthy, actually. There's nothing worse than a council that's enthralled to its prince. That I can believe. But it seemed like there was something else. What? I'm worried about you, that's all. I've seen Hazel spin her web around other kindred. I'm worried she's doing the same thing with you. Playing the cynic. I'd say you were just jealous. I don't want her throne, Amem. I'm just fine where I am. But since you don't believe me, go take a look around. I'm sure you'll find the answers to your questions. Just a bit of friendly advice. I gotta go. I've got stuff to do. Just a sec. I know Hazel told you not to talk about it. But please, at least tell me where you're headed. You're unbelievable. The air is thick in here. You can understand my concern, can't you? I'm going to see the Anarchs. What? It's a long story. I'll explain when I get back. I've really gotta go. All right. Be careful, ma'am. not my fault. Shouldn't leave things lying around. Do you think we have time to just laze around? You need to be fast and effective. Destroy anything you don't need. Keep what's important. Do I make myself clear? Yes. M.M. There you are. I've been looking for you for hours. Where have you been? Hey, Jay. Sorry. Hazel's kept me on a short leash since I got back. I was so worried. I thought something had happened to you. I heard it didn't go so well with Hartford. Since when do you work for the court? Since Hazel asked me to. You sound thrilled. You know how I feel about politics. But what can I do? Hazel trusts me. I have to accept my role in all this. You don't feel like you've been trapped. She clearly trapped you. Do you know something I don't? It's a little hazy, but the prince in April? Sure know how to keep their subjects in line. 
They've got dirt on everyone. Like what? I've said too much already. Bosley's watching me like a hawk. I've got to stay in line. I've got to go, ma'am. April's working us to the bone tonight. Catch you later. See you, Jay. I'd better hurry. Can't be mad at me if she doesn't know about it. My first party at the court in 20 years. Hazel had to insist to get me to agree to come. Oh, I don't really know how to take that. game is she playing here? Cotopatis? What the heck is that? Potters? What the heck is that?
and direct route to the prince's apartments. April plays the guard dog. The swan's nest. I hope it's worth it. on the wall. I've always found swans very moving. They're beautiful, but full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. Dijon never mentioned his sire. Hazel's always one step ahead. Hazel had another child before Miley? Shit. I had no idea. Seeing as how it ended, I'm not really surprised. I've always found swans very moving. They're beautiful, but full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. I get the feeling something's missing. There are faint marks on the wall. I wonder if... Something moved. Hazel said there was an accident, but it was actually an execution. If Leisha were to find out, that explains why Hazel's holding off on Fang's embrace. Underwood. What a creep. Bazori is a loyal dog, and Hazel's got him on a short leash.
So Hazel has her eye on my clubs. Ugh, politics. Always politics. What's her game? Is this how she thanks her allies? Hazel said there was an accident, but it was actually an execution. If Leisha were to find out, I should go. It's gonna be a long night. First, the Anarchs. Mm, but I have to find them first. Halsey? Yes, Mom. I'm here. Ugh, how many hours have I spent sitting in this armchair for my therapy sessions? Richard must have had a breakthrough, if Hazel's interested in it. <sighs> what is he talking about? Pumpkin, what are you looking at? The picture is scary. Come now, there's nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be afraid of a couple paintings now, are you? No, but... Yes, I know. It's Richard. He was angry, but he wasn't angry with you. You know... I don't think he is. He doesn't like me following you around. Yes, but it's because he worries you'll get hurt. Pumpkin, 
There are much more serious things going on right now. Those people who put us into boxes. And who hurt you. Yes, them. But don't be scared. Mommy's here. I know. I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. There you are. But... What on earth is that mark? I ran into an experienced Inquisitor. I was caught off guard. Not a dangerous mission, was it? You brought back a souvenir. I'm still in one piece. That's all that matters. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since I got back, but... The Prince hasn't given me a moment's rest since I returned. I won't hide the fact that I was happy that you were the one to... Well... That I informed them about the Second Inquisition. Yes, I can imagine. Everyone's petrified. I can sense it. Hazel lost it when she found out. I had a hard time convincing her I was telling the truth. I admit that even I... She's going to ask for your help. I'm sure of it. She didn't follow your treatment protocol. Usually, I give you your treatment when you awaken. You're not stable, Laisha. Enough with that already. You failed miserably with the mission the Prince gave you. That's proof of it. What do you mean? You didn't have a firm grasp of the risks. How could I have guessed that? And to top it off, you didn't bring anyone back to the Prince. You'll become more and more overwhelmed by your visions and your hallucinations. All this because she's afraid. Hazel has become dependent on you. Don't you think you're blowing things a bit out of proportion? Dependent on me? On your visions, of course. Don't you understand? She didn't bring them up? She did mention them in passing. She needs your premonitions to help her anticipate the future, to try to influence the course of events. Wait a second. I don't see how my visions can help her. Nor do I. Our visions are nothing more than possible metaphorical futures. Excuse and... Excuse me? Pardon me. Dropping the professional jargon, you only see things that could possibly happen. But then why are they so important to her if nothing is certain? Perhaps she wants to see if it's still possible to change the course of events. But they're never very specific. And I hardly remember them. Why is that? All I know is that she's kept me distanced from you a few times to seek your help. Often you didn't have any precise memory of what transpired, or only partially remembered it. She... is she manipulating my memory? It would be the best way for her to keep your visions for herself, but I can't be sure of it. Here's a dose of your treatment. Take it immediately. This will rid me of my premonitions, is that it? I don't have time to break this to you gently. I have to go straight to the point. What are you talking about? Laisha, Halsey isn't real. What? It's not true, is it? You're the only one who sees her. No, no, no. Our family has a gift for seeing things. No, no, I... Halsey is my daughter. In your mind, it's always difficult to pull you away from her. That's why I try to treat you as soon as you awaken to keep Halsey from reappearing. He's lying, Mom! He hates me! You're either lying or you're wrong. I don't know which, but it's not true. Laisha. But, but Hazel, H Hazel sees her. When your hallucinations increase, your premonitions do too. They become more specific and more reliable. And that's what the prince wants. But you grow increasingly catatonic. Halsey starts to take over. No! I don't want you to leave me! Enough! Shut up, both of you! 
It's just you and me, Leisha. Oh, no. He's a liar. It's, it's not true. I regret having to inflict this terrible shock on you each and every time. Every time? Leisha, the prince wants to see you immediately. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. I should have left for the Red Salon already. Why? No, y you can't just leave like that. I have too many questions. Hazel doesn't like to wait. We'll have time. Go now. Obey the prince, Leisha. Stay where it's safe, and above all, drink. <sighs> there. I'm coming. Laisha, I wanted to thank both of you for... The prince sees me. See, Mom? Richard's a liar. Are you all right, Laisha? You seem... Quit pretending. Come now, Laisha. What's wrong? You've been pretending to see Halsey since the very beginning. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Halsey is part of you, and I accept you just the way you are. That's all. You're really only interested in my visions. You've been manipulating me because you're afraid of the future. I... I fought hard to earn my place. I don't want to lose it. Yes, but why have you been manipulating me? Manipulating you? I've done nothing of the sort. It's not as simple as that. Hallucinations, premonitions, these visions are part of you. So, uh, Halsey... You're calling her a vision. I don't think Halsey is putting anyone in danger, especially not you. I don't think anybody should tell you to change who you are. But you were pretending. You lied to me, damn it. Show some respect for your prince. You're blaming me for taking a step into your world. Should I have laughed at you behind your back, like the others do? You're wrong about who's trying to manipulate you. I don't know. You don't trust me. I think I'm a little confused. Mom? I don't understand. Why are you saying that? Listen, I'm sure you weren't expecting it. I would have rather spared you all of this. But Richard is convinced you're better off without Halsey. Yes, he told me that told me that if Halsey stayed, I'd have even more visions. That's true, as far as I can tell. And that I'd end up unable to tell what's real from what's imaginary. He's even provided me with a treatment. Oh. Well, it's up to you to decide if you want to take it, of course. But before you make up your mind, I... We need your help. Our family is in danger, Leisha. Uh, I, I don't know if I can. I don't really feel like... The Second Inquisition is here. You saw them yourself. Mom? Mom, I'm tired. This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Please? I'm tired too, Sugar Fangs. You need to help us. Obviously, but what exactly do you want me to do this time? An impression, an opinion about what's going on. A premonition, basically. Don't take it like that. Others are less scrupulous than I, believe me. What are you talking about? Richard, for one, who has manipulated your memory multiple times. What? Ask him about it. Just know that there are far worse than me creeping around you, Leisha. Mom? It's not as simple as that. I don't choose when they happen. Mom! Mom, listen to me! 
Yes, sweetie. What is it? There's no point. The swan will lose its head in two days. I just saw it. We know, Mom. What's going on? Leisha, is Halsey speaking to you? What is she saying? Halsey sees a swan. It'll lose its head in two days. But that could mean a lot of things. It's not very clear, you mean? Nothing's ever certain, and... Of course. There's... There's got to be a way to... Shuffle things. There must. Not after everything I've done. I won't believe it. Hazel, I... Please leave. I need to think. As you wish. <sighs> Damn it. I don't know who to believe anymore. Richard or Hazel. Please, Mom. I'll be a good girl, I promise. You don't exist. You're just in my head. Please don't leave me. Let me stay with you, Mom. No, Richard is right. I need to get better. Damn it. That hallway again. And my memory loss. Halsey. Oh, shit. I have to find Richard at the Red Salon. He's gonna have to explain this. 